happy Friday. Eyes up, hearts up, mind sharp, and compassion on full blast. Okay, let's go. So excited to bring another end to this week. I have some wonderful, wonderful news. So please, please uh, pay attention to my following announcements. First, our PBIS, our next PBIS, I think it's a pretty good one, is Super Bingo. So what is Super Bingo versus regular bingo? Well, super prizes, of course. Well, what are super prizes? Well, that depends on the suggestions that you gave me, that you give me. I know for a fact that I will have one super prize of some kind of gaming system. Maybe a PS4, or are we at PS5 already? Are we at five, the fifth generation? I think we are. Uh, a Switch. So some kind of game console will be one super prize. And I've heard, I've had some input from some of you, uh, some Ulta gift cards for those of you who are allowed to uh, go to an Ulta makeup store and buy a lip gloss or some mascara, uh, you know, uh, what you like to wear. Uh, we also have some Google Play cards. Uh, we've had some ideas of gift cards for places to go eat. So I want to hear from you. What kind of gifts would make you excited for Super Bingo? Send me an email or write me a post-it note with your suggestions. Just leave the post-it notes in the little file box in front of my door so that I have an idea of what prizes to offer for Super Bingo coming your way. We'll have one Super Bingo for our TK Kinders, another for our first through fifth, and then another for our sixth through eighth. So each Super Bingo will have its own set of super prizes. I am waiting for your input so I will share with you what prizes will be in the future. All right, I have some exciting news, but I really can't share it completely with you yet because I haven't received the 100% it's a done deal. So I'm just gonna give you a clue. We have coming our way, <laughs> not one, not two, uh, very special SMA members that will be joining our SMA family and you will have a chance to meet them through our PBIS store. And the only clue I have is that these members walk on all four versus two uh, feet. So yeah, that's a big clue. But anyway, I can't wait to share more as soon as we get the okay, so excited. Walk and talk for grades first through fifth. We provided you the opportunity to either sit and talk or walk and talk. Guess what? Many of you are deciding to do what you're not supposed to do, which is stand up and talk. We were very, very um, lenient on giving you that option, but I've talked to the teachers and they say that every day they have to tell you to sit down or walk and talk. And those of you who sit, as soon as they turn around, you stand up. Therefore, starting this Monday, when you return, the option to sit down is no longer an option. That's right. Every single student will need to walk and talk. So here is how your morning routine will now look like. You come to school, happy and ready to learn. You get your backpack and you put your backpack on the hook. Or if you wanna carry your backpack, no problem. The choice is yours. You then make your way to the blacktop and you proceed to walk and talk. That is the only option you have moving forward. Walk and talk is now mandatory. There is no other option and it starts on Monday. You don't wanna walk and talk? Then just come close to when the bell's gonna ring and go directly to your class. Okay, dress code. Dress code isn't just for our sixth to eighth graders. It's also for our TK and fifth graders. So just make sure that you're wearing clothes that is scholarly and that is safe. Okay, make sure that you're wearing clothes that you're not gonna fall over or your pants are gonna fall down. Oh, that'd be embarrassing. Make sure teachers in all grade levels that we are making sure that our students are following dress code. And just wanted to add one more thing to look out for, our shorts. Our shorts need to um, land right under, right at our knee. 
not beyond our knee. Those actually aren't shorts, those are knickers. I don't think you wanna wear knickers. So if you're wearing shorts, long shorts, basketball shorts, they need to fall right above the knee. Anything past the knee is too long and you will be asked to change. All right, that's it for me on this beautiful Friday. So, so, so glad to say we had a great week. We'll see you next week. I love and care for all of you. And I'm so excited as we reach the end of our first year together. Have a great day, scholars. Good morning, Wolves. Today is March 10th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's fun fact is, how many people have ever lived on Earth? The answer is, others have estimated the number of human beings to have ever lived in, to be anywhere near uh, from 45 billion to 125 billion, with this estimate falling into the range of 90 to 110 billion humans. The Tigre 5 lunch menu is chicken alfredo with a twist and cheesy polo parts of Italian cheese and garlic bread. The lunch menu for 6 to 8 is spicy chicken burger, extreme bean and cheese burrito, and Chinese chicken salad with, sla uh, with savory wheat crackers. Also, stop by the book fair happening this week in the multi-purpose room. The color run uh, for the 6 to 8 graders is happening next Friday. In order to participate, you have to raise $15 towards the Jogathon or purchase the event on, PB on the PBIS store. Purchases must be completed by next Wednesday, March 15th. Each participant must have a waiver signed by a parent or a guardian. Students, please remember that school safety is very important. If you see something, say something. Have a great day, Wolves.